Hi Fire Signs, Aries, Sagittarius, Leo. Welcome back to my channel everyone and thank you for being with me here today. We are going to be looking at who is your next lover. So who is your romantic person who's coming in? What features do they have? Personality? Who are they? What do they look like? We will be looking at all those lovely details here for you. So if you do have a lot of fire energy in your chart, this reading is going to be for you. Um, if you'd like a private reading with me, please feel free to email me uh, directly and we can certainly arrange that for you. If you enjoy this content, um, please feel free to leave a like on there and also to subscribe to the channel to get updates for readings for your sign or your element. Uh, also, if you'd like to sign up for membership to gain access each month to any extended versions or bonus readings, feel free to do so via the join button on my homepage. Otherwise, let's look into this reading here. So I have laid out a few cards here for your fire signs um, and the overall energy, the way this person is presenting themselves is with the moon card. So this is strong cancer energy or this is a strong um, message here that this person is from your past. So I'm getting, for a lot of you, your next love, your next lover is going to be someone you've previously been connected to. Now for some of you, it's going to be an ex, okay, you've had the relationship, you've been in love, you've built an attachment, they're coming back around and there's another opportunity for a relationship. For others, it's like it could be someone you almost had a relationship with, or it's someone from your past that you sort of never felt like you got to experience in, in all its full glory or maybe you used to be friends and there was a crush and then you had to separate for whatever reason there's some sort of history uh, that the both of you share and i feel like that's coming up pretty strong could also point to someone who's very emotional who's coming forward here so they're sensitive they're creative um, maybe a little bit more reserved and shy rather than completely outgoing and outspoken so it's someone who is very thoughtful it's someone who likes to express how they feel, but there's a real sweetness that's coming forward from this person. Now, what stands out is also a potential relationship with their mother or feminine energy. Um, so the number nine rules the moon. So I'm wondering if this is someone you may have had an ending with, or at the time when you connect, they've recently come out of something here as well, because nine is like fulfillment and its endings. So what they have is that seven of cups so again this points to someone who is emotionally uncertain or at times are a little bit unstable one day they want one thing the next day they want another they could be moody so i'm just getting a strong um cancer and you do have pisces with the king of cups here as well so i'm wondering if there's a lot of water energy in this person's chart um so there's, there's a moodiness about them or sometimes they don't really know what they want. So they could be sort of a bit lost at times with what they're truly wanting. Um, or at a time when you meet, it's like they don't know what they want. They've just come out of something. They're not really sure what to expect or they still have feelings for you. It's like a complicated kind of energy that's coming up. So this is why I definitely feel like you have some history here, especially Five of Swords. Um, this person could walk away when relationships get too tough. When emotionally they reach a point where things get too heavy for them, they're known for walking away or they have a history of walking away from you or you've done that. So you've left them maybe as well, he fires signs. They may have had a betrayal in their previous relationships, either have done deceiving or being cheated on, for example. But this person often finds themselves in some sort of love entanglement or like um, third party situations. Want to be surprised? Um, also wouldn't be surprised if they're coming out of something like a divorce with the judgment card. So they may be separating, they might be in the process of separating, they could have just gone through a divorce, um, they could be going through some sort of settlement, um, custody battles, legal settlements, there could be some sort of complication here with family and children, um, especially if they're separating. Now the judgment card could also be like they work with children or families, so maybe they work in family insurance, maybe they work with housing projects in real estate, uh, maybe at schools or the education sector. Um, they could come from a large family, they have children, or they want kids. This is a strong family person who's coming in. So if you're wanting that, it's very likely that they'll um, be able to give that to you. They're a good communicator with the angel here. So it makes me feel like they may have Gemini in their chart. They do have the lovers as well. So um, they could be a great conversationalist or very, um, very bright, uh, very animated, quite witty here as well. Could even be a little bit judgmental though. 
So they might judge situations and people very, very quickly. They may form opinions before they get to know something or someone here as well. Marriage is coming up with the four of wands. So you might have been married to this person or they're going to talk about really uh, marriage really quickly when you connect. So there's some sort of, um, there's an urgency here for them maybe to get married. Um, I feel like with the four of wands, they could work with like married couples maybe. They could work in the events sector. Maybe they work for like a marriage reception venue uh, in real estate. Um, or like they have to entertain people for work. You know, they could be in like the hospitality industry as well. Uh, or they work with like large commercial or residential spaces. So maybe they have their own studio or um, they rent a space for where they work. Like there is... Um, there is, some, there is this ability um, for them uh, about what they do. So, you know, that's very interesting. I feel like it tells me they live a very fulfilling life and I feel like they might take you out. They like to date, okay? So I feel like dating and courtship, like they like to try nice food places. Um, they do a bit of research. Like there's, there's thoughtfulness that goes into the dates that they prepare. But I'm not surprised because I feel like this uh, this person is super romantic. So they'll make the effort to plan dates. They'll they'll go ahead and they'll they'll try to make that happen. Um, uh, in the cards, I feel like it's coming up next to their personality. Uh, you know, that's that's what they're all about here. But they've got a happy, like a happy-go-lucky sort of disposition. Yeah, they could be moody at times, but I think for the most part, they've got, they try to be at least, um, quite optimistic, uh, quite happy. You know, they try to be in the moment and they try to have a positive view on things um, more than anything else. Page of Swords tell me that, tells me that this person may have like an immature streak or they could be younger than you. So I'm talking months or even years. There could be quite a significant age gap between you and this person. Uh, so I feel like they could also be um, changing like something in their life where they're just getting to know like something new. For example, they might be changing their career after a decade being in one career. Um, they might be finding out that they have a family on the other side of the world and they're getting to know them. Uh, they may be rebuilding a connection with their previous parents um, or, you know, maybe they've, they're, they're trying to withdraw or like quit a habit like smoking. Like there are some sort of new experience that there's been in their life that they're still trying to adapt to um, as that page of swords. So there is something like that, that there's like, there's a huge readjustment process is what I'm getting next to this person. Could be professional, could be in their personal life. Maybe it's even health. Uh, they may be recovering from something. So uh, maybe they have to have a new sort of diet or a new exercise regime. Something that they sort of have to uh, adapt to um, is, is what I'm getting. Okay, Ten of Cups, family and children are coming up a lot around this person. So they could be in dire need of like a step parent to their children. Um, it could be that family is very important. So for them, like getting the blessing of their parents or their family members, their sisters and brothers, cousins is super important to have this like family acceptance. So I do feel like there may be some pressure from the family from their side, uh, but I feel like that's going to be important. And of course, from their side, like they'll want to get to know you, your world, your friends, your your parents, your siblings, the people that are in your life and the people that can tell them stories about you. Like they'll want to hear it because what I get with this person is that they come from a large family and you're really marrying into the family here, especially if you're going to go the distance with this person. So I'm getting a vibe that this is why it's super important to them. It could also be Ten of Cups is like completion. So in a way, I feel like there might be someone here who's done all of that. They've had marriage. They've had kids. They've grown up. They've sort of done that part. And now they're wanting like more companionship and love. So there could be someone here, I want to say, who's done having kids. Like they may not want any more. And, you know, that could be devastating for you. Uh, but that could be a sign like the universe is trying to tell you, is this person for you? Like, do they want the same things as you? Uh, but the family life could be very exciting. For this person and I feel like they're a provider so they want to pay for the dates they want to pay for the home they want to bring home the bacon like they want to take care of you there's a really really sweet energy that 
they want to look after you and I feel like you're really going to love that kind of energy. For some, this person is constantly on the move. Two of ones could indicate they have two different living locations. Um, they could have dual passports or be mixed race. They may travel to different locations for work or they may have like a mobile business, like maybe they drive their car around to do people's makeup or they're um, a tradesman and they go around um, fixing people's electricity or plumbing or maybe they have this door-to-door -door service that they provide. But I don't feel, I mean, like it could be working from home slash mobile business, but it works for them. And they may, I mean, may even be, I don't even know what I just said. Was that even a word? Um, there may even be, uh, I completely forgot what I was going to say. There may even be multiple jobs, multiple income streams, or they're like, if this is like a separated family, I get that they have like a family home and then an independent home. So they've got the family where they visit the kids and, and the mother or the father of their children, and then they've got their own independent home. So it's like, or it could be their parents. Maybe they came from a broken home like where they had to travel to see their father every weekend. Like they could have come from like that sort of dynamic. They may even have a holiday home. Uh, so this would explain being based in between two different locations. Um, but again, they've got the world. So it makes me feel like they may have fame uh, or they may travel the world or they have plans to travel the world. They may have a travel blog. Um, they like sort of getting out and about. It it works for them. It keeps them on the move. Um, and I don't think this person likes to be like too cooped up in the home or when things are too routine because I feel like they'll get bored and that's something you could share in common because you'll both want that same sort of lifestyle. Um, but there's definitely a jet setter here for some of you that's coming in. I can obviously afford this lifestyle, so um, ka-ching, right? Um, Okay, but let's go to the Ace of Swords. Okay, so they're quite a courageous or a brave person. Could be a bit of an adrenaline junkie here. Um, I feel like they've been through something very powerful and it's made them very mentally strong. So it could be an illness, it could be a traumatic event, a loss, um, just a significant time period in their life that really made them who they are. Um, and I feel like this person has a lot of willpower. So if they want to commit to something, they commit. If they want to quit something, they'll quit. You know those people that just have that innate ability, like they're just super motivated. And once they set their eyes on something, it's like they'll do it. So this is why I get like this person's willpower is strong. Um, at times they may want the last word though, especially in an argument. Um, and I feel like it's not always f easy for them to swallow their pride and walk away and just like wipe their hands clean off it. Um, most of the time they have to have the last say. They, they'll feel like they'll have to put it on you at times. Um, and that could go you know, with that mental strength that they have um, in their mind. But um, so strong mind, strong language. Um, and I feel like the way they talk, you're going to be very attracted because they use, they use certain words and the way they even pronounce certain words, especially if they have an accent. For some of you, there's, there's this, this person has an accent here, um, which I think you're going to find very attractive, to be honest. Um, and you're really going to enjoy speaking with them and like conversing because they'll be challenging right they'll ask you things and like why do you think this is the case or what makes you think this or tell me why you believe this like it'll be kind of like sexy banter and it'll kind of have this like tension but it's a good tension like sexy tension right um and i feel like it'll be sort of like a game like a bit of give and take here so i think you'll enjoy that aspect of it um it could also be uh reflective of this like uh, trauma that they've had though as well like they're fighting through something or they're going through some things when you meet like a settlement a dispute a, a lawsuit um, they might be fighting you know fighting for something here so you know we all have our own battles um, and I think when, at the time that you'll meet them this person will be like going through it or overcoming it but it's really going to show you a strength of character here that you I feel are going to really admire um, about them with that Ace of Swords. They have the King of Cups. This person has got a huge, huge heart. It's Pisces energy. 
it's having like all the love in the world it's having like this ocean of love here so again could point to the hist point to a history here like if this is your ex this person still loves you and they love you very deeply because it's this ocean that's underneath him so this person um when they love they love hard and when they fall they fall hard um so this is why I feel like they wear their heart on their sleeve. They're emotional about things. Um, I feel like they like to be looked after, but they also like to care for people. And the way that they show their love is how much they care about you. Like they could pack you lunch. They could surprise you with dinner. They could um, buy you your favorite book. Um, they could take five minutes out of their day to do something that they know is special for you. Um, and that's their way of showing their care, like checking up on you, like a text message. You know, how are you feeling? How was that meeting? Like they're interested because they care. And if you see these signs, it's because they still care. They never stopped caring um, or they're starting to care very much about you. Um, you know, that's that's very exciting. I feel like that could um, uh, that could really go the distance here. Uh, could also be a sign that you'll fall in love very quickly with them as well. Could even surprise yourself here, fire signs, how quickly, just how quickly um, you'll be able to fall for them. I wouldn't be surprised if that happens. Um, I also feel like the I love you, the I'm falling for you, the like I could see myself with you. Um, I feel like that could happen very quickly in the relationship. Um, maybe some love bombing going on here, but... The lovers has come up. This is telling me that, that your next person could very much be a soulmate twin flame relationship. Um, that your next relationship could, this next relationship could be the last relationship you have. The lovers can point to like marriage and engagement, um, long-term relationships. There's two angels here. So I feel like, again, this is pointing to two attempts at a relationship. Like the second time will be bigger, better and ever better than ever before the second time you guys have learned your mistakes and this time you're growing together and you're going to be there for one another um, again it points to communication being very strong so i feel like common interests um, i feel like you'll always have a lot to talk about this person's going to be mentally challenging um, they're going to stimulate you um, I think chemistry is going to be off the charts. I really feel like you're going to have a great intimate life with this person. You'll sort of want to rip each other's clothes off. Like you'll very much enjoy the physical aspect, strong chemistry, strong sexual energy between the both of you. That could be what brings you together in the beginning. But I feel as time progresses, you'll start to build on that moon connection. So you'll start to become more and more attached um, to each other is what I'm seeing. I feel like with the sun card, you're going to change as a person here as well. The sun is the self. So I feel like this person is going to teach you some massive lessons or you're going to change the way you think, how you behave, what you want, what you don't want in your love life. This person is going to have a profound effect on that. So this is a big deal. And I did mention cycles with that moon. So I feel like there's something cyclical about this. Either you've had a relationship before or you might have had a very similar person to this one. And at times you may even feel like it's a bit deja vu, like, well, this person reminds me of my ex or, well, like I've been through the exact same experiences with this person as I have been with the person I've been through, I've been with months or years ago. Like, don't be surprised if you're going to find these deja vu moments creeping up into your experiences because maybe it's showing this was a past life connection. The love is in the moon. Like to me, it screams out like past life energy. Um, or a past love attraction that's coming up super, super strong here. Um, okay, so there's a really strong attraction and I'm seeing very feminine features. So long hair, this, this luscious lips, these angelic eyes, you know, long eyelashes, even if it's a, um, even if it's a male, um, like feminine features or angelic features is coming up because of the angels. Um, this person could have a very soft spoken voice or have a very soft like demeanor. So they present themselves quite calmly. They could have fair features. So lighter hair, lighter eyes, lighter skin, um, or like their hair goes lighter in the summertime or like they lose a lot of color when they lose their tan, for example. They may have a dark complexion, but they might have like hazel eyes or, um, you know, some sort of uh, lighter, um, lighter features um, is coming up around this person. Um, but I feel like they could be around your age. I'm not seeing 
a massive older gap um, if anything like i said it's more a younger generation or a younger age gap rather than an older um or your age your age and maybe a little bit immature or not maybe hasn't been through as many relationships or hasn't been through as many experiences um, that's what I'm picking up here. So I do hope you have enjoyed this reading, everyone. Thank you again. Don't forget to drop a like and subscribe, and I'm sure I'll catch you very soon. So thanks again, and bye for now.